Shalom. You know, um, we are the real Hebrew Israelites. You know, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises to and our and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the brothers that's teaching. You know, in truth and sincerity. Shout out to the elect. Shout out, shout out to the few sisters that that listen. You know. Just want to go into a quick top topic about uh, you know you you being in these things you know you, you know you let your sins weigh you down you know you gotta always keep pushing you know you gonna go off in this thing you know all the prophets you know one one part in their life went and went off you know unlike unknowingly you know and always keep pushing you know. I want to just touch on this top on this topic just bring out a few scriptures on it you know never and never and never uh never forget the mercies of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah you know uh uh Yahweh is the most high and and Yahweh Shah is his son who this world called Jesus you know so I I I, I just want to touch on something in the Old Testament first and, and I'm gonna line it up with Psalms, with Psalms 51. You know what? I'm gonna read Psalms, Psalms 51 first. Just I'm gonna just read the beginning of it. So, this is Psalms 51, verse one. Right. Uh, well, in the in the first part, it said to the chief. Musician, a songs of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone in to to Bathsheba, right? So this is when so so this was David. This one of the songs that, that David wrote when he this the only time he he went off too, you know, you know when and when he uh, went inside uh, Bathsheba. Who was a uh, who, who 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 was already had a uh, you know a, a counterpart you know had like had a dude you know I think his name was Yuri uh, 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 Yuri or whatever but this but this is what it reads it say have mercy upon me O O O Yahweh according to thy love thy loving kindness according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my trans my transgression you know blot out my transgression you know me personally I'm not even half of the man that King David was you know it's the things I have done you know in my in my lifetime things I do period you know I'm trying to make myself a better man you know and that's what I wish for you know and that's what all you brothers should uh, hope for is for uh, the Lord to blot out your trans your transgression, you know. Forget about it, you know. Please don't hold that to my account. Please show me show me that mercy. This verse two, wash me thoroughly, you know. Wash me thoroughly, you know, from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin, for I have knowledge of my transgression and my sin is ever before me, you know. You, like you, so that's so so that's why no one should have no fucking pride in this thing, man. Your sin shall always be before you, man. You shouldn't have no pride then. If 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 you always you you prideful, what what the fuck you prideful? Because you, you forgot your sins. That's why the dude become probably didn't hear the shit. You know you and you forgot you was in the hood just just with us a couple of days ago. You know you was we was all sleeping on the on the floor just you know. Someone get get you know someone get rich, and they forget where they, where they come they uh, come from, man. So just like in the truth, someone you learn a couple of precepts, and now you forgot that you were just smoking just last 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 year, could could, could commit adultery, you know. So what is you prideful about, you know? Verse four, against thee, thee only have I sinned. And done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightst be justified when thou speakest, and and 
and be clear when thou ju uh, judges. Be behold, I will. Behold, I was sharpened in my. I was shaping in my iniquity, you know. And sin did my mother conceive me, you know. <laughs> We was soon as we came out the womb. We, we was shaping in the iniquity, man. Ain't no way around it, you know. Um, it say, uh, "Be it say, behold, thou desires truth inward parts, and in the, in the hidden part thou shall make me to know wisdom." Right in the hidden parts. That's talking about the in your spirit. You know, your uh, is that is that inward man that you know is that spirit, you know. But um, I'm gonna keep going. This is the part I wanted. Purge me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Now I'm gonna come back to that. It's a point I want to make. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna read. Le I'm gonna read Leviticus right. The 14th chapter, right? It said, it said, purge me with, in, in Psalms 51, verse 7, it said, purge me with hyssop, right? Hyssop is a herb, is a plant, actually. And I'm going to go into it with some of the benefits of uh, hyssop, you know? Which is, a, is a, you know, you can you know, make oil out of it. But uh, I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to get back to that. I want to make a point. This is the book of Leviticus. Of, of Leviticus, this the this is the laws of of leper, you know, of uh, leprosy, right? I'm gonna just read the first parts of it, you know, is a point I want to make. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, "This is verse one in Psalms um, in uh, Leviticus uh, 14 and one. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This shall be the law of the leper." The day of his the day of his cleansing, he shall he shall be brought unto the priest. Right. The day of his cleansing, he shall be brought unto the priest, man. You know, that's the spiritual because we spiritually, you know, before this truth, you got leprosy. You know, you know, spiritually, you know, you, you don't got the skin on. You don't have that skin on you. You don't got that melanin. In you, that's why uh, in 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 in, in, in Ezekiel it said, "Can can these bones live? Can can these bones live? You know, can can can, can they? Can, we, we got to put the skin on them. You know, what that skin can represent? Knowing your nationality. So before you come in the truth, you got leprosy because you don't know you, you don't you don't got the skin. Meaning you you don't know your nationality." Yeah, you don't know that you a Hebrew Israelite. You don't know what tribe you from. You don't know the the a name of the head the head the heavenly father. So verse two is say, then shall be the law of a leper in the day of his cleansing. So man, we so we in the days of our cleansing, man. We we was lepers, but so now it's the cleansing part. What's the process for uh, you to get cleansed? Having leper meaning. Being uh, uh, ignorant of your nationality, you know, you uh, you thinking you a uh, African American, you thinking you a, um, a, a a Puerto Rican, you thinking you a Cuban, you thinking you a Mexican, you got leprosy on you, then man, you know, you you don't got the you don't got the skin on you, man, you you still a bone a dry bone, you a bone with no skin, you know, so it say uh, verse three. The priest shall go forth. Who was the priest, man? The apostles, man. You know, the apostles, the Lord put the spirit on the apostles to, to, to be our priests, our apostles, our uh, our uh, kings, man. You know, a to be the heads right now, you know. That is what it is. And the priest shall go forth out of the camp. And the priest shall look. And behold, if the plague of leprosy be healed in the in the leper, then shall the priest uh, command to to take for him that is to be cleansed two birds alive and clean and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop. They're gonna word they're gonna word uh, hyssop again, which is that plant. 
because that, that uh, hyssop is very important, important, man. It's a cleansing agent, man. So we always use hyssop as a cleansing. It's, hyssop is also known as the holy plant. That's And that's one of the titles it got. It is known as the holy plant, you know. And I'm going to give you, right after I read this, I'm going to give you the, the benefits of uh, hyssop, right? So verse, so verse 5, And the priest shall command that one of the birds be killed in an earth, earthen vessel over running water, right? As for the living bird, he shall take it, and the cedar wood, and the scarlet, and the hyssop, and shall dip them and the living bird in the blood of the bird in the in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water, and he shall sprinkle upon that that is to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times, and shall pronounce him clean, and shall let the living bird loose into the open field. Right? So so that's what I'm gonna read on that. So some of the benefits of a hyssop, you know. Is uh it, it can help with swelling, it can fight off different types of diseases, it can cure gout, it's good for the skin, scabs, wounds, open wounds, protein, protein is good with stomach ache, harsh heart uh, trouble, your men your uh, menstrual cycle, healing wounds, sores, sore throats, you know, and that's just some of the things I just listed. Just as, you know, I don't want to go all into that. But that just hits up, you know. And that's, you know, that's one of the plants the Lord gave us for healing. So once again, man, I'm going to read the Psalms 51, man. You know, because brothers, being in the truth, you know, you got to understand, you know, you got to ask for mercy, man. The reason why you, is the, 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 the Lord is known as merciful, is merciful. It's merciful because he he understands that we're gonna go off in this thing, man. The thing is to ask for it and be and ask for uh say uh, uh the Hebrew word is salakia. That means uh forgiveness, you know. Ba basically what it means. So in Psalms fifty one it say uh there's a part I wanted to hit on though. Because the laws they say you would have two, you would get two birds, you would and you would kill one, and you would dip the other one with cedar wood and uh, hyssop, right? So look at, I mean, I mean, let me make a point. So in Psalms fifty one, no, in Psalms fifty one and two, I'm gonna go back to two. All right, it say, wash me thoroughly. Let's look at the word thoroughly, thoroughly first, real, real quick, because because I want to make a point, man. Wash me thoroughly, you know, because that's what you had to do when you had leprosy, man. You had to get cleansed thoroughly, because you couldn't leave no stains, you know. And it's and you know you couldn't leave no stains. You had to wash a person thoroughly, so. The word thoroughly means very much, greatly, utterly, downright, absolutely, completely, to to totally, entirely, perfectly, you know? So, totally, absolutely, completely, entirely. That word thoroughly, so you had to get washed thoroughly, you know? Watch them with the with the birds. He said, "Watch them with the, cause, because you kill one bird, and you keep the other bird alive." So, you know, I remember when I was a kid, I used to, my mom. You used to play outside all day, and uh, you go in the house and you jump in and out the shower. You know, when you a kid, you, you really don't take a a, a a thoroughly shower. You used to hate take showers and shit or bad. You jump in and jump out. My mom used to always say, "Man, don't don't be going there taking no goddamn bird, no a uh, bird, no bird bath, and don't and don't be taking no bird bath." And that's something you niggas do, man. You niggas taking bird baths, man. A bird bath is when you really don't wash up. You just 
you just get your body wet and jump out, man. You really got to uh, cleanse yourself, man. Because when you jump in and out, that and you, 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 and you just really just wet your surface, you really not cleansing yourself, man. You... You you got that and now you got that that uh, that 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 mildew smell on you, you know, and they make you even worse than what you s s smell and the, the one be before you went in there. So don't be taking no bird no bird baths in this truth. You don't take no bird baths in this truth. You 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 wash yourself thoroughly, you know. As the scriptures say, it say, wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. You know, so you watch yourself thoroughly. You don't take no bird baths in this truth, man. You know, <laughs> you bird bath. You want to just jump in and jump out, man. So, so that's what it is. So I'm gonna keep going on verse, uh, on verse eight. Make me hear the joy of gladness that the bond which thou has broken, the bond which thou has broken may rejoice. You know, can't talk right now. So I'm gonna get another precept, man, because uh, because because King King David was uh, righteous, man. You know, and that's just what it is. And in the truth, you gotta get tested. You know, you are gonna get tested. You gonna the Lord gonna make you for to see how how you gonna get back up. You know, even when uh, you know that's why you got brothers in this truth, man. So I'm gonna get this in first times. First times, uh, I wrote it down one and sixteen. Right, right. It's a first. This first times, first Timothy one and sixteen. How be it for this cause I attain mercy, that in that in me first Yahweh shall Mashiach might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hear at the belief on him to life everlasting you know you know the, the truth you gotta be long is long suffering man a thing I always tell my brothers man you gonna go borderline insane in this truth man but you gotta keep keep going though you know uh, and uh, brothers, and, and 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 all throughout the scriptures, it was all about that mercy. Every brother asks for mercy, you know. Let me get this in Luke, uh, in Luke twenty-two, Luke Luke twenty-two, and uh, uh, twenty-two and twenty-three, right? Luke twenty-two. 23 uh, no Luke 22 and 32 it's like it and it reads and it reads um, and the Lord said unto Simon uh, be be behold saying have desired to have you that he may uh, sit you as we sift you as we. Right? Who was Simon? Simon was Peter, man. Who was Peter spiritually? King David, man. So, so you gotta understand something, man. That's why God was was so hard on Peter, man, because he knew spiritually he was King David, and he was gonna always be that rock, man. So that's why we read in uh in uh in Psalms fifty one and two. King David already had got cleansed thoroughly. He already he was cleansed thoroughly. Even though he went he went off at that one point in time, he was cleansed thoroughly, man. I'm gonna read that back, man. This is Luke 22 and 32, no, and 31. And the Lord said unto Simon, Simon was his surname, a surname Peter, right? Be behold, this and this Yahweh Shah talking. Behold, Satan, you know, Satan. These goddamn devils, the Edomites, you know, the uh, and these demons as well, you know. Satan have desire to have you, and that's what Satan wants. 
these these spirits, these evil spirits, they want you to go off, man. Especially when you're in this truth. They desire to have you, man. You know? They, they you know, they want you. They, man, they on you 24-7. They, they waiting for anything to, to, to uh, get you up out of here, man. You know? So you got to be on point 24-7, man. You know? Always praying. You know? Doing and doing, doing, doing the right things, man. Cause Satan desire to have you, that he may sift you as wheat, man. Basically, uh, destroy you as wheat, man. You know, that's why it's important to, to, to have that spiritual hyssop, man. To, to and don't be taking no bird baths in this truth, man. Actually, taking full cleansing baths, you know, in this truth, man. You know, because he may sip you as weak, because he's trying to sip you as weak, man. And it's 32. It say, but I have prayed for thee. This is Yahweh Shah. So the Lord prayed for us. What you mean he prayed for us? He's our mediator, man. You know? He he, he covered us with, with that blood. What, what we read in Leviticus? Because we had leprosy before, right? So what you and you keep one bird alive and you kill the other one and you and with the live one you uh you got you and you get your shit wood and your hyssop and you dip it in the killed bird and you sprinkle it upon the man seven times. That what the Lord did for for us spiritually, you know. And then they say uh oh okay, and they say this they say uh uh, uh and I have prayed for thee. That they, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. It said, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, man. So brothers, brothers got to have that faith. So brothers, you might be hard, but the Lord already uh, uh, prayed for you that you keep your faith, you know, and that you keep pushing, right? And when thou art converted, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. Cause basically that's saying, and when you and when I, and when you get your ass up, you know, take those uh uh uh, uh, them, uh instead of taking on bird bath, you take your full bath, you tell your brothers stop taking bird baths and, and, and really cleanse yourself thoroughly too. And you help your brother and you keep the pattern going and so on and so forth, man. So that what you doing is truth, man. You know? Like I said, I ain't gonna make this long, man. I'm just a one more, another one. This is Luke 18, right? This is Luke 18 and 13, right? It say, and the publicans standing afar off will not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven. But smote upon his breast, saying, "God, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, be merciful to me, a sinner, man." So that's what you do, man. You know, even if the uh, this is story about the uh, the uh, Pharisees and the and the publican, man. You know, have mercy upon me, a sinner, man. So repent. So that so that's what he did, and that's what King David did, and that's what Peter did, who is King David. And the public in here, they 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 repenting. They announce you gotta announce that you're a sinner, man. It's truth, man. You know you can't you can't be prideful, man. Announce you're a sinner, and it's true. Please have mercy upon me, a sinner, man. You know. Now one more, no two more, and I'm gonna close 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 out. This is Psalms forty uh, forty one, right? Psalms 41. No, Psalms 141. It's like it's Psalms 141. 141. Right? And I'm going to get 141. I'm start at 5. Let the righteous smite me. <laughs> That's cold. Let the righteous smite me, man. Meaning, let the Lord smite me, man. Let the Lord... Let the Lord just strike, smite me, man. It shall be a kindness 
and let me reprove and let him reprove me. Cause when he smites you, is is a reprove, man. You know, it shall be an excess. Uh, it shall be an excellent oil. What's that oil we were just talking about? Uh, hyssop, man. That spiritual uh, hyssop, man. It shall be an excellent oil. You know. And now, and, 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 and you know, that's that spiritual hyssop, man. Which shall not break my head, for yet my prayers also shall be in their calamities, man. Right. Yeah, that's all I want on that. Right. So it say, let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness, and let him reprove me. Because, man, when he smites you, and he's not trying to destroy you. He's trying to reprove you, man. He's trying to make you stronger. Because what, what we just read in Luke 23 and 32, Satan, he desires to have us, man. You know, he wants us badly, man. You know? So, I'm going to close out with this Ephesians. You know? I hope this was edifying. So I'm going to close out with this Ephesians 4 and 22. This is Paul speaking too. You already know where I'm going to. 4 and 22 in, in, the, in the book of Ephesians. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the, des, to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, that ye put on the new man, which... After Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah created in righteousness and true holiness. Right. So that's what it is, brothers. You put on that new man and, and, and fuck that old man. So stop taking bird. So stop taking them bird baths, you know, and start washing them thoroughly so you can put on that new man. Even when you take a shower, you, you get out sharp and you feel like a new man. You, because you took all that dirt up off, off you, man. So with that, man, I give our praises and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Keep pushing the truth. Stop taking them goddamn bird, bird baths and, and take a thorough shower, man. Cleanse yourself in this truth, man. You know? And and and, uh, and, and double honor to the apostles of great, great millstone and salutations to the brothers that teaching truth and sincerity. Shalom. Keep pushing.